What's going on guys, this is Jake, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can go ahead and set up live chat and chat bots on your Shopify store. And this is going to really help with automating the customer support process and saving you a lot of time and energy, especially during high traffic periods such as holidays like Black Friday where you're going to be getting a lot of inquiries. And to do this, we're going to be using an app called Heyday, which is going to allow us to set up custom automated responses to a lot of the most common inquiries that you'll be receiving from customers that have to do with product details, shipping, returns, etc. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started with getting this set up on your store. So in order to do that, you just need to go ahead and click the first link in the description or search Heyday over here in the Shopify app store. And you can come over here to the app page right here. And then you just go ahead and click add app to go ahead and get started to go ahead and install it on your Shopify store. And once you go ahead and install the app, you just have to go ahead and create an account and then you will be brought to the home page right here. And we're gonna go ahead and walk through how you can go ahead and set everything up here in the next 10 or 15 minutes. So if we come down here to the bottom right, we can go ahead and follow the five steps that Heyday actually recommends that we go ahead and do to set up the app with our store. So this is going to be the easiest, most streamlined way to go ahead and set everything up. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with the first step here, which is first branding our chat widget. So if I go ahead and click on that right here, we can go ahead and see that this is going to be the widget that shows up on our screen within our store. So we can go ahead and choose to match this up with our particular branding. So in order to do that, you're just gonna wanna go ahead and match up the background color with the primary color of your store here. So if we come over here to the theme customizer, we can see here on this demo store that I am using this pinkish color as the primary color on the store. So I would just go ahead and grab this hex code right here and we're gonna come over here and I will put this hex code in right here now we can see that this chat box over here is going to match the branding of our store we can see that our company name is already locked in right here so whatever your company name is for your store it's going to be showing up right here we can choose what our subheading is going to be right here so we can see here it says come chat with us so whatever you want to put here if you want to put something like ask us something you can go ahead and do that. You can put whatever you want right here. And then we can also choose to upload our logo right here as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. So after you upload your logo here, you can see that your entire chat box here is going to be completely customized. So then all you have to do is click on publish changes down here. And we can see that the changes have been successfully published. And if we come up here to chat display, we can just choose whether or not we want to turn it on here. So we can see here that we can toggle the visibility by turning it on or turning it off. So right now it's off. And if we go ahead and choose to turn it on, we can go ahead and turn it on. So the next thing we're gonna go ahead and set up is our chatting hours here. So we can choose which time we want our live chat to be available. So we can see here, let our customers know when our team will be online. So by default, we have Monday through fr Friday, nine to five and closed on Saturday and Sunday. So you can go ahead in here and edit these to your liking. So we can say, let's just say I wanted it to be nine to five, seven days a week. We could go ahead and change that in here and we could go ahead and change our time zone as well. So in this case, I'll change it to my time zone, which is central and I'll click on publish changes. And we can see that as simple as that, that the business hours are set. The next thing we need to do is set our chatbot messages here. So we can go ahead and click on that and it's going to take us to our automations here. So we can see here, we can customize our chat widget to match our brand. So we see here our greeting message by default is just how can I help you? So we can go ahead and edit this if we want. We have the welcome message here. So this is going to be the first message presented to a visitor during our business hours. So by default, it's saying hello and welcome to, and then this is going to be your store right here. How can I help you today? So you can come in here and customize this if you want. And then down here we have the absence message. So this is going to be the message presented to a visitor outside of business hours. So we can see here, 
that by default it just says our team is unavailable right now. Leave your email or phone number so we can back in touch with you and it will go ahead and fill in the next day that customer support is open or and the next hour as well. So these default greetings are already pretty good as they are, but you can come in here and customize them if you want. But in this particular case, I'll just go ahead and keep these greetings default. And the next thing we're gonna do here is click on the save time and automate here, which is going to load our FAQ automation. All right, so this is where we can go ahead and set up our actual FAQ automation. So we can go ahead and set up our chatbot to go ahead and answer customer inquiries automatically. So this is where we're going to be saving a lot of time. So this is where the bulk of the setup is going to be. So in order to set this up, all you have to do is come in here and click on add FAQ. And the first thing we need to go ahead and do is select a topic. So we can see that it's going to give us a bunch of different topics that customers will typically reach out for and that our chatbot can have automated responses for. So we can see this is going to have to do with membership information, your store location, address, order cancellation, confirmation, order issues, everything to do with refunds and payments, and shipping. So likely what you're going to be doing is creating an automation for every single one of these because the more potential automations you have set up, the less actual live chat that you or your customer support team are going to have to answer manually. So you'll likely go through here and set all these up. So in this particular case, I'm gonna go ahead and set one up live to show you how that process works. So let's say we were to set up one for refund information and policy. So we can see that this automation is going to show up when customers ask specific questions that are related to this. So here's some examples here. So what is your refund policy is one of them. I want to return an order is another. And how long do I have to make a return? So there's also going to be other variations as well that could show up, but these are just some examples that are going to trigger this automation. So once we've went ahead and selected the topic, we're gonna to click next, and now we can go ahead and choose our preview here. So we can see here that it's going to show our preview over here, and we can see that our answer is going to have a title. So by default, this is just refund information and policy. So you could title this whatever you want. You could put in something like how to make a return here. So the answers that you provide to these automations are obviously going to be personalized to your specific store. So every store is going to have different refund policies, different return policies, different answers to all of these questions. So I can't tell you exactly what to put in here because this is going to vary depending on your store. So you're just gonna have to go ahead and come up with the answer that's relevant to how your store handles these specific issues and put it in here. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and use this demo answer here for returns. So we can see here, I just put in, we have a 30 day no questions asked return policy on all products, et cetera, et cetera. So this would be the response that people would see when this automation is triggered. And if we go ahead and just add in a subtitle as well, so I could just put in something like, and we can come down here to next once we've set all of this up. And then all we have to do is click on publish. So we can see here that we're going to go ahead and publish these changes now. So we just have to wait a couple of seconds. And just like that, we can see that now we have one out of 10 FAQs active. So what you definitely want to do, like I said, is come back up here to add FAQ and you're going to want to pretty much use all of the FAQs that are relevant to your particular store. So I'm not gonna go through all 10 in this video, but the creation process of all of the FAQs is exactly the same as what we just ran through right here. And if we take a look at the store, we can actually see what this would look like live. So actually taking a look at this live on our store now so we can see what it looks like. So we can see here that the chat bot would show up right here in the bottom right with the greeting message that we set up earlier. And if a customer wanted to ask a question, they could go ahead and open this up. And we can see here that they are going to be greeted by our initial welcome message that we have when someone opens this up. And we can see that they're going to be given a specific menu right here of 
different options that they can select if they need help with something right here. So let's say we want to go ahead and test the automation that we had earlier. So I could go ahead and type I'd like to return a product. And we can go ahead and see here that it's going to automatically send the automation that we created earlier. So we can see here this is the automation text that I created earlier in response to the customer asking to return a product. So we can see once we have all of our FAQ automation set up, how this is going to save a lot of time and effort for us in customer support because a lot of it's going to be automated here. But let's say that they actually want to talk to someone live. So if we go back here to main menu, and we can see once this loads up, they can come over here to talk to a person that they can just go ahead and ask their question and you will be transferred to a human. So I could just go ahead and ask a demo question like this. And we can see that now it's going to say waiting for a team member and someone will be with you shortly. So we can go ahead and jump in to see what this would actually look like on the back end. So jumping back into the Heyday app, you can see this is where the conversations are actually going to show up. So we can see here, if you click on inbox, we can see we have open conversations right here. So we can go ahead and open this up right here and we can see the entire automated conversation as well as the actual manual conversation right here. And we can see that we can go ahead and type an answer out here. So we, so we can go ahead and type an answer out here and it shows that we just joined the conversation right here as well. And then if we jump back over, we can see that it shows that we joined the conversation and now we are manually talking to a human. So this is where we can manage your conversations and you can also manage conversations via the mobile app. So Heyday has a mobile app. So I will quickly show you how you can go ahead and install that and also manage conversations on there. So in order to install the app, we can just search heyday.ai in the app store and we'll find the app right here and we can go ahead and just install it to our mobile device. And then we can go ahead and look through our different support messages just like we could on desktop. So we can see here we open up a conversation here on our phone and we can go ahead and type in a reply to this customer here. And then we can see that we are having a conversation here with the particular customer through the mobile app, which is very convenient. So this is something that you can use personally, or you could actually have your customer support team do the customer support from the mobile app as well. So now that we've seen how to manage conversations on both desktop and the mobile app, you can see here what I'm going to do now is come back over to settings and I'm going to click on team here and click on teammates because this is where we can actually invite other people to go ahead and join our customer support team. So likely you're not going to be manually doing all the customer support yourself all the time. So you're going to probably hire some customer support agents to help you with that. So this is where you can send the invitation right here. You can invite your customer support team to the Heyday chat right here. And then they'll have access to the conversations here and you can actually go ahead and assign specific conversations to specific people as well in here or you can assign them to a specific department if you choose to go ahead and create a department and let's say that this chat has been completed and the customer's question has been answered and everything is good to go we can go ahead and click on this here and we can choose to go ahead and close the conversation we can assign it to another teammate or assign it to another department we can prioritize it but in this case let's say it was solved so we'll just close the conversation and send the satisfaction survey here and then we can go ahead down here to our closed conversations and we can take a look at all of our previous conversations we had here and we can also see our chat bot conversations here so this is where our automated conversations will be and then this is where our actual live chat conversations will be so managing all of the chat support and history is very simple inside of Heyday. So if we come back to settings, there's just a couple more things that we can go ahead and look at here. The next one here is the different channels that we can use. So you can go ahead and connect 
your chat with Facebook Messenger if you want. So if you want to link your Facebook account here, you can do the same thing with Instagram messaging by linking your Facebook account as well. And you can also request to activate the email channel if you want as well, but this is probably going to be used less commonly. And then you can obviously edit all of your basic account information here. You can come down here and edit your actual billing plan right within here as well. So another thing you guys can check out here is the analytics tab. So we can see here in real time how many customers are interacting with our chatbot or interacting with teammates, how many customers are chatting. We can go ahead and see the customer overview here based on what language they're in and what gender they are. And we can go ahead and see the conversation overview. So how long did the conversations typically last? How many unique customers, engaged customers, etc. And we can see the number of messages as well as conversion traffic and everything else down here. And we can see if our chatbot has generated any sales from this section right here. So if we go through all this, we can see there's just a lot of different analytics that we can take a look at. So that way we can see how our live chat is performing. So we can see if we need to make any overall improvements to our customer support. We can come down here to the conversations section here, which just provides us more information and data about all of our different chats here. So it just gives us a little bit more info and analytics regarding that. And then we can also go ahead and create advanced reports if we want to go ahead and do that. So we can go ahead and choose from different report options to a different date range. And then we can go ahead and have that CSV sent to us via email. And then that is pretty much it. So that is the Heyday app in a nutshell. That's how you can go ahead and set up live chat customer support on your Shopify store and also automate the process with the use of chatbots. So be sure to check out Heyday by clicking the first link in the description. And if you did find this video helpful, be sure to leave it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel for more videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one.